Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Don Joe number 7116-630. This is a pull plate, is what it is. This is a, um, a very common style pull plate. We're just going to remove it from its packaging here. This is going to feature a 4 inch by 16 inch uh, uh, 50 thousandths thick plate underneath the pole itself. Okay. All right, so here is the 4 by 16 plate. This is in the 630 finish. This would be satin stainless steel. This would be solid stainless, 50 thousandths thick. The white surface that you see here is just the peel away protective film that's covering us. Okay. This will have uh, four beveled edges and it's going to be pretty difficult to see the beveled edges on the camera but the point of the matter is it makes it relatively safe to run your finger across it. If it wasn't beveled you'd have a problem. Um, that is a fairly light bevel that's on there but you can probably see it a little bit better right at the corner. Anyway, so this is going to feature the 8-inch center-to-center solid stainless bar that we have. Uh, bar pull looks like it's looks like it's three-quarter inch diameter. We'll check that. 8-inch center-to-center. Should be nine and a half overall length. Oh, pardon me, eight and three quarter overall length. That's correct. That means that it is indeed three quarter inch diameter. Eight inch center to center would be accurate. That, of course, is going to mount as so. It's going to include a couple of through bolts. Those will go through the door, and then these finish washers will finish off the installation. So you get your uh, 6 by 5 8 oval head sheet metal screws for attaching the plate to the door and then you get your two through bolts for getting the pull handle attached to the door. Typical and common uh, pull handle that you're going to see in countless applications. Okay, Very typical material. Now um, below this video is some descriptive information regarding the uh, item itself indicates it's a pull plate with four beveled edges includes the quarter 20 through bolts and the 6 by 5 8 oval head uh, sheet metal screws 8 inch centers 4 by 16 plate 3 quarter diameter 8 and 3 quarter overall length as we had said earlier projection 2 and a quarter with a clearance of inch and a half projection 2 and a quarter I'd say that'd be accurate once you add that well, it's a little shy on that, but right in that range. And your clearance would be inch and a half. Okay. Made of solid stainless. This is actual bar stainless in a brushed finish. Brushed finish, a brushed finish over solid stainless is in fact the most durable of all finishes. That would be considered a natural finish. An artificial finish, the most durable would be um, satin chrome plating over a brass base material that'd be the most durable of artificial finishes but if you want the most durable of all finishes solid stainless with a brushed finish and if you are using it in an application where it is certainly uh, coastal or the environment will have a lot of moisture if the hardware is available as a type 316 try to order that but this would be typical 304 stainless now there are links below this video to the uh, supporting documentation and let's switch to the screen view so we can take a look at that supporting documentation. Now here is the item that we're looking at and we have our extended description information down below as we just went over. Then our supporting documents. Mounting options, as we look at that, this is a document out of the manufacturer's catalog illustrating how they can mount different poles, whether you're doing a through bolt mount, either standard or decorative, or a surface concealed mount, or 
whether it be wood or metal or back-to-back -back options as seen here, or where they're going to take a pull and the plate and weld lugs to the back of it so that you have a very concealed and heavy-duty sort of prep on that push plate or, uh, on that push plate installation. Okay, So lots of options there. This is going to be just the typical through bolt is how this is going to normally be supplied. Okay, Now looking at the next document template, it'll be a technical drawing of the plate itself. And this would be just a number 71 plate. 71 is a reference to it's just 50 thousandths thick. Um, that it is 4 by 16, so common material. It's nice because it also gives you this location of the holes for the screws, should that be something you're interested in as well. Most people certainly want to know where the screws were located. They do also refer to the other finishes that are available, and let's go through them. We've got three base materials. In brass, they'll do 605 polished brass, 606 satin brass, 612 satin bronze, 613 oil rub bronze. 628 is aluminum based material with a clear anodized finish. 629 and 630 are solid stainless with a polished finish or a brushed satin finish. Let's look at the next document here, which is product catalog. That's a very handy document to review because. It will allow you to, to take a look at this item in terms of how it exists with all of its other sister products as the center to center changes, okay, and the plate and the backing plate changes. <laughs> so this is a 71 pull plate with a 16 handle is, is how that breaks out, okay. Add H if you want a two and a half inch clearance, and that two and a half inch clearance would be the dimension from the door surface to the inside of the pull handle. That would be your clearance right there. Two and a half inch, while it doesn't occur anywhere in code is considered when someone says that their ha their item is barrier free making a reference to handicap compliance they're basically saying yeah we want to see two and a half inch on the clearance so therefore this would have an outside of three and a quarter okay so that's what that reference to is in that regard the rest of this catalog is very handy because it will allow you to review all things door plates, push and pull plates related from Don Joe. Um, I would recommend that you review their catalog uh, to see the variety. Admittedly, one inch diameter round pulls are more common than three quarter, but that doesn't mean you should have one inch. You know, three, if three quarter does the job is what is specified, there you go. One inch is more common. Flat bars other variations of bars, hospital style bars, a 42 would be considered a hospital type so that you can wrap your forearm underneath here and pull a door open without having you using your hands to make contact. Okay, These cast pulls as well, same operation with this extension down here. Radius or curved pulls, offset door pulls, centers to center here Push and pull bar sets, obviously very common. A, one, a 19 147, this is going to be very common. The 115 60 147, very common. Ladder pulls are in here as well. Ladder pulls have been popular for many years, probably since the 1990s, would be my guess. We sell a mess of them, that's for sure. Uh, and that is pretty much everything that uh, is of note in this catalog. They can do preparations for cylinders and locks in their push and pull hardware as well. This would be a very common setup right here. A 7116, well in this case it's a 7115. So it's going to have a little shorter 6 inch center pulls, pull on here. Um, on a 4x16 where you can prep for a cylinder or a 2 and an inch hole up here. Common application would be a bathroom in a school or in a park district or a public bathroom where you need to be able to lock that door after hours 
and the inside thumb turn would be a classroom style, which means you could only retract the deadbolt and never lock it. Okay, Flush poles are here as well. Cylinder pole, that's awfully nice. A very petite to the door footprint way to have a rim cylinder on the outside with a small pole handle that might be connected to a rim exit device. Very common. You don't have any experience with this vandal pole at all uh, from Don Joe. However, this is this is a bit of a deceptive picture and what that vandal pole looks like in cross section is going to be in cross section. You've got your pole, it wraps to the face of the door, it comes You've got the pull, comes to the face of the door, and then hooks over like that because the lip of your strike will fit in here. Your jam, this picture is a little askew. Your frame is going to fit in here, your strike. Then, of course, your door is here, and that all swings out this way. So that vandal pull will allow you to grab something here but then cover your strike as well. Some manufacturers put a rubber coating out here on the handle and I can only tell you that um, if you are in a southern climate and the sun has been baking on it for 14 hours, touching that piece of solid stainless will be less than pleasant. Um, they do not indicate any sort of covering over that pull handle, so be mindful of that. Let's wrap up this video on camera. Now, in conclusion, the name Don Joe is synonymous with uh, good quality trim and auxiliary hardware. They are admittedly a, um, a company with a more petite footprint, I suppose, in the sense of the, them not being owned by a conglomerate uh, manufacturer. That's certainly both good and bad, I imagine. Uh, I wouldn't say there's anything negative about them being an independent company um, because I know of one other, uh, I know of a large trim and auxiliary manufacturer who is owned by a conglomerate and they are exceptional in all regards. Um, Donjo is nice um, because they are a, in, in my uh, estimation, in my opinion, an old school type hardware company. You dial their phone number, they pick up and they help you. Okay. Um, they have a good quality product, good quality people, prompt, reliable, predictable shipping lead times. Occasionally they are able to produce the proverbial rabbit out of the hat for you, which is um, probably certainly an advantage of being nimble. Um, the rare occasion that they make an error, they generally make it good immediately, so we appreciate that. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Don Joe products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog and the several subsection catalogs. So if you're looking for just door pulls, and plates focus on that product catalog, the one we just went through. But if you know their name, it's probably for reinforcing U-shaped door uh, uh, reinforcing plates or latch protectors. But as you can see from all of their subsections, they make a lot more than just those product lines. So take a look at what they sell. Um, you might be able to um, use them to great advantage because they make some stuff and they stock some stuff that other people don't and what I'm thinking of uh, would be extended lip strike plates. Two and a quarter, two and three quarter, four and seven eighths, standard lip lengths and then extended lip lengths as well. Every once in a while you bump into needing them and Donjo may be the only people who are even going to remotely have anything in stock. So I would look to them first when it comes to extended lip strikes. Any questions on the 7116 and a 630 finish or any other Donjo product, please. Feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.